What is up everybody? Today we're going to be talking about whether an inflatable or a hardboard is better for you to buy. And first off, I apologize for all kind of the background stuff going on, on the beach. We are at a public beach, so there's going to be people kind of walking back and forth. So hopefully it's not too distracting for you guys, but let's dive into it. All right, today we're going to be looking at the inflatable starboard 10.8 by 33 inches wide. This is their deluxe single chamber model. And we're also going to be looking at the hardboard version of the 10.8 by 31 of the IGO um, model as well. And so those are the two boards we'll be looking at today. All right, so first off, let's look at the starboard inflatable version of this. Now, obviously the biggest pro is they're able to store it in very small places by rolling it up and deflating it or putting it in the back of your car. Very easy to transport and store away. Another big pro is also very protective. It's not rigid like a hardboard where rocks and stuff can hit it and damage it. It can bounce off those rocks. So if you're in rocky places where you have kids dropping the board a lot, I highly recommend getting the inflatable version of the paddle board. It is also lightweight. Um, in comparison to most hardboard, since it's inflatable full of air, it is actually lighter and easier to carry when you're carrying to and forth on the beach or in the water, wherever you're at, it's much easier to transport and just carry around in your hands. I was also surprised at how well this board did perform. Even though it was an inflatable, it still felt fairly rigid in the water. I saw it felt also very stable on the board. And in terms of paddling, it still paddled pretty well in terms of glide on the water and just paddling and cruising around on the ocean. Now the biggest negatives for the board obviously is that since it is inflatable, it won't be as rigid as a hardboard is. Because of that, you're gonna get a little bit more bounce you're jumping up and down. But even besides that, like I said, I was still very impressed with how rigid the board is. Also because an inflatable, you're having to deal with an inflatable body. So you can't concave the bottom like you can on a hardboard, which makes it a little bit less unstable, not quite as high as performing as a hardboard. But even with that said, it still performs very well. And obviously the biggest downer with an inflatable is you need to pump it up every time you take it to the beach if it's deflated. Now for me, I kind of timed it. It takes me between five to eight minutes to fully pump up this board that I have here with me. So not too bad, but by the end, you definitely are a little huffing and puffing, got a little sweat going, but if anything, it's just kind of a good warm up to go paddling. But that is kind of the biggest downer in terms of going to the beach and just jumping around the water. You need to take a moment to set your board up, to inflate all the way up, kind of get warmed up, and then you can hit the water. All right, let's talk about the pros of this hardboard that I have with me today, the Starboard Go. Now the biggest pro, obviously, since that is a hardboard, it is better performing. This one actually has a concave bottom to it, so it gives better sta um, stability, but also better glide when you're paddling, which really helps with the performance of the board when you're paddling on the water. And even this board, even though it is a hardboard, it is still fairly lightweight. This is made with Starboard's light tech technology, which allows it to be a little bit lighter with the construction they use to build it in comparison to some of the other boards that they use on their line. Now, some of the cons with the hardboard, obviously, is transportation and storage. Unlike an inflatable, obviously, you can't roll it up and store it anywhere. So you have to have a car with either roof racks on it and you have to have a place at your house, either in a garage or inside your home, that's large enough to store whatever size board you purchase. So that is honestly a, a, a more of the con side of the hardboards. And the other con to the hardboard is obviously easier to damage. So when you're sitting down on rocky beaches or even on concrete, you have to be very careful because most of these hardboards, like this light tech, don't have protective stuff on the side of the board. So you can easily damage the side of your board if you're not careful. Now these are pretty rigid boards and they are pretty protective, but you still need to be careful of what you're doing. So even if you have kids carrying those around, you want to be a little more cautious that they don't just drop the board on the concrete or on rocks and ultimately damage the long-term health of your board. So in recap, let's talk about which board is right for you, the inflatable versus the hardboard. Now, two biggest things with the hardboard that you can ask yourself are, one, do you have a place to store this board in your house or in your garage? And two, do you have a way to transport this board on your vehicle to the beach? Are the two biggest things you can ask yourself. If not, and you have to answer no to any of those questions, then inflatable board is still an incredible option for you. You can obviously roll it up, easily store it in your house or in your car and transport it very easily. So those are the two biggest questions for you. Outside of that, it's really up to you, your preference and what you want to do. If you want to travel more, I highly recommend getting an inflatable so you can travel much easier on, on planes versus a hardboard. If you're looking to stay more local and focusing more on your performance and you want a higher performing board, I highly recommend getting a hardboard. So at the end of the day, those things are more up to your preference and what you choose and what, what you want to do. But the biggest questions I said are storage and transportation. The biggest questions you can ask yourself first are whether you should get an inflatable versus a hardboard. So I hope that helps see you guys out today. Look forward to sharing more of these kind of videos with you guys in the future. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and like this video as we will be creating more of these for you in the future with this new channel. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll catch you in the next one.